Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart with Slabtown Customs, Mountain View, Arkansas, with you again today to give you a tour of one of our uh, recent builds. Um, this, is, uh, this is not exactly a, a tiny house, although it, it could be very easily, um, but we've had a lot of requests to see some of the other builds that we do, not just the tiny houses, so uh, we, will, we will be showing you a little bit of everything, uh, from pavilions to outdoor kitchens and like this particular unit was built to be an art studio um, but you'll see when we get inside it could very easily be used as a tiny house as well um, this is a 10 by 20 this unit is built on skids but it is sitting on a trailer now for delivery uh, but it will come off the trailer upon setup again this unit's 10 feet wide it's 20 feet long uh, a little extra tall here we're uh, we're well above legal height on this particular build uh, but you can see uh, we've got a got a little room upstairs that could be a bedroom in this particular case it is a kind of used for a little library so to speak but uh leaves inside here and give you a look uh, as you can see we've got quite a bit of window space we've got a set of six foot french doors 15 lights in those doors uh, we've got a pair of 2030 windows on each side of the doors and we've got two 2030s above so we'll go in and give you a look pardon the uh, shaky hands something uh, a little different for us I guess in this particular build is the uh, you'll see a little mix of some drywall here uh, of course, the color was, uh, you know, part of the custom build. So, of course, as always, colors can be changed. But we have a little different material on the walls and ceilings where the wood is instead of the uh, pine that we use so much of. This is a spruce. This is a white spruce, actually from Finland, believe it or not. Um, this is a beaded tongue and groove product, one by eights. So we have those at the bottom up to about a chair rail height and then we have the uh, drywall and then we have a little more wood above as you can see let me back up here give you a shot at one end again this little build was built to be an art studio slash uh, dance rehearsal and uh, reading room for uh, for a little girl um, but uh, be pretty easy to add a kitchen and bathroom here so as you can see, we've got a we've got a pie, um, excuse me. This is a pecan laminate flooring in this one. Again, we've got the spruce up so far, drywall in between, and spruce above. Um, down here on this end, <clears throat> we do have a vaulted ceiling, and we are very we're quite tall here. We've got a hanging light fixture. We've got some shelves around uh, three sides here in this room. It'd be used to display some trophies. Probably some stuffed animals and such. Uh, shot at the two two o three o windows. On the other end, we have the same windows, and you'll see we see, see we've got a set of steps going into the loft on this one instead of a ladder. And on this end is where the uh, art will take place. There'll be an art desk she has that will be going here in front of this window. Have one that'll kind of curve around. And then we have some built-in storage under the steps here that folds down to give a nice little table. Uh, it could be, she could sit at that with a stool, of course. We've got some storage in there, some holes drilled for some paint brush storage. And we do have some storage under the steps as well. Okay, let me show you real quick. We do have a fold-up table on this wall under the uh, window. Can be used to eat at or laptop or just whatever. Okay, we'll ease up the steps here. What you see the uh, little library. Uh, you can see we got a little uh, sconce light there. Doorbell. Give you a little listen to the doorbell. Get in. Let me back up a second here and let you see. We've kind of got a little bit of a like a catwalk going into this library. 
Got railing on both sides, so you can see down below on both sides of this. And we've got our pecan flooring that leads up into the little library, and here we've got a, a purple carpet. Uh, a little different color on the walls up here. Again, we've got a mix of the uh, drywall and, and uh, spruce. Got some bookshelves built in over here. Display plenty of books. A lot of light up here. We do have two flush mount ceiling lights. And we have two sconce lights for reading. I believe her plan is to put a big bean bag under this and kind of make like a window seat out of it. I'm going to switch over there for those lights. And you can see these two 2030 windows. We did a little bit of uh, stained glass film on those just to kind of add a little character. Again, that room could easily be used as a bedroom in the right circumstances. A little shot looking down. Okay. Excuse the uh, shakiness and uh, we'll ease down the steps. So, as always, folks, uh, everything we build is totally custom. So... This could be done in various ways, different materials, different layouts, be used for about anything. So if you have any thoughts or questions or would like to inquire about a custom build or any of the ones you've seen, just uh, send me an email anytime at ozarksbest at yahoo.com or call me directly anytime at 870-213-5310. And as always, thanks for watching.